Hello, my name is Fred Endress with Furuno, and today we're going to go over the operation of the TEU001, Furuno's new remote touch encoder for TZ Touch 2 and TZ Touch 3. Now let's go over the basic functions of the new touch encoder. So we have our four edge swipes from the outside of the screen. We have our roto key for zooming in and zooming out and making menu selections. We have our two finger tap function, short and a long press. We have the center of the screen, tap to enter, and we also have a press and hold for chart panning. So if you want to bring out the data box, you edge swipe from the left, bring that box out, edge swipe again if you want to close it. If you want to bring out your quick menu on the right hand side, edge swipe from the right to close it, swipe out again. If you want to make a quick page selection, swipe down, tapped to enter the selection. And if you want to see the contextual menu for that, swipe up. Now let's go over some specifics on how to use it with most of the common displays. Okay, most of the chart functions that you're going to be doing are going to be zooming in, zooming out. You're going to use the rotor key for that. If you want to make a new point, you're going to put your cursor over the area where you want the point to be, tap on the screen to start that, and then select new point. From there, if you wanted to, you can tap on it again, and you can, del you can delete it or edit it. We'll delete it. You can also make a new route. Tap on the screen where you want the route to start. Rotate your roto key. Select new route by tapping on the screen. Each place where you want to put a point, you just tap on the screen. And when you're done, hit end route. And then from here, you can name it if you wish. I'm just going to close it out. Just like any display mode, if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you're going to use the roto key. Now, I'd like to turn on my AIS targets. So I'm going to swipe up from the bottom, use the rotor key to select AIS targets, tap the screen to enter to turn them on. Now you can see my AIS targets are displayed now. Now let's turn on bird mode. Swipe up from the bottom, tap the screen, let's select moderate. Bird mode is now activated. Now let's go over the basic operation of the touch encoder while you're on a fish finder screen. Just like the other displays, if you want to range in or range out, you're going to use the rotor key. If you want to change anything on the fish finder screen, you're going to bring up your swipe up menu and say, I want to go from single frequency to dual frequency. I'm just going to tap the screen once to cycle through that. Now, if you want to turn your A scope on, highlight it, tap it to enter. So from here, you can highlight your gain mode and you can tap your screen to cycle through the different modes. Come down here, you can highlight this and adjust your gain. You can also come down here to select different preset frequencies. If you want to set a point, you come over here and move your cursor to an area, tap on the screen. From there, you can do select new point or you can fish it. Let's go over how you'd use the touch encoder to select an instrument page. So I'm going to swipe down from the top to bring up my quick page. Tap on the screen to select instrument. And from here, I can go through my instrument pages by rotating the rotor key and cycle through them. If you have an instrument page and it's on a quarter screen, you want to highlight that instrument page, and then from there you want to use your roto key to cycle through your various instrument pages. Now let's go over setting up the two finger tap functions. So in the home menu, under settings, under general, you have your two finger tap function and your long two finger tap function. Now I have the first two finger tap function set for gain control. You can set this for any of these settings right here that you want. But if you like manual gain and you're a fish finder user, I would set it for gain control. But it also works on radar and the DF3D as well. Under the two finger long tap, I have it set for full screen. Again, you can set this for any of the functions that you normally use. Let's get out of here. Let's close this screen. So right now, if I want, if I want to adjust my gain on my sounder menu, I can just touch my two finger tap function. It brings up my gain for HF. Touch it again, brings up clutter. Touch it one more time, closes it out. Now, if I had a split screen, I could long press and go full screen. And to close out, go back to the quarter screen, just press and hold again from long tap. If you want to expand your DFF3D screen, move your cursor over to highlight that box. Again, long tap, full screen, Long tap again, quarter screen. Now let's go over how to create a quick page using the touch encoder. So go to your home menu, select home, go to the plus box, 
tap enter. And let's make a triple screen, plotter, radar, and fish finder. Automatically populates the checkbox, tap it one more time. You just created that page. Now, to make it a quick page, again, swipe down from the top, go to the empty slot, press and hold to enter that page. The two most useful features of the new touch encoder are gonna be a roto key, which can be used for ranging in and ranging out in your plotter screen, adjusting the range on the fish finder or the DFF3D screen, and also the edge swipes. Don't forget to set your two finger tap functions, your short and your long press. And if you require more assistance, please visit us at furuno.com.